Ford Ranger Raptor revealed, but not for the US, or at least not yet. It's happening. After several months of teasers and a whole boatload of speculation, the new Ford Ranger Raptor was finally revealed today in Bangkok, Thailand. This comes just weeks after the Ranger's US debut at the Detroit Auto Show. It's unclear whether the truck will make it over to our shores this generation, but we wouldn't get our hopes up. Still, it's exciting to know it's out there and that the Chevy Colorado ZR2 and Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro have some competition on the horizon. From the fat fenders to the upgraded suspension, the Ranger Raptor looks just like a small-scale F-150 Raptor. That's exactly what most of us were hoping for. Up front, the Ranger Raptor swipes the F-150S grille, replacing the blue oval with Ford in big block letters. The steel front bumper adds LED lighting and new aerodynamic air curtains. There are a pair of tow hooks and a bash plate just underneath the nose. The fenders are significantly wider. Just look at the extra sheet metal on the edges of the headlights. The fenders provide the extra width needed to fit the long travel suspension and wider wheels and tires. The truck is 67.3 inches wide at the front and rear tracks. The new bumpers and 11.1 inches of ground clearance give the truck an approach angle of 32.5 degrees, ramp over angle of 24 degrees and a departure angle of 24 degrees. Out back, the altered rear bumper now has a pair of tow hooks. The sensors and tow connectors have been changed, too. While the Ranger Raptor is wider overall, it doesn't seem like the bed's interior dimensions have been increased. There are Raptor logos on the rear fender and the tailgate. Changes to the interior are much more subtle. The steering wheel has a stripe in the middle to denote the top position. The seats have a full suede finish as well as modified bolsters and seat backs in order to improve comfort. The truck's big changes come underneath the skin. The chassis, brakes and suspension have all been beefed up to better tackle rough terrain. Ford specifically says the truck is meant to travel at high speeds off-road, words we're quite happy to hear. The solid rear axle is suspended using coilovers in a Watts Link setup. It provides vertical movement with very little lateral shifting. The geometry has also been changed to fit the new suspension. The front and rear dampers are both provided by Fox Racing Shocks with 46.6mm pistons both front and rear. We're curious how these compare in the real world to the Colorado ZR2's fantastic spool valve setup. The truck's upper and lower control arms are both made from aluminum. The front and rear brakes have both increased in size. They're supported by new 17-inch wheels and a set of knobby BF Goodrich 285-70R17 tires. Under the hood rests a 2.0-liter twin-turbo diesel and line 4. It's mated to Ford's new 10-speed automatic, likely the same one that's found in the F-150 and the US version of the Ranger. It makes 210 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque, more than the Colorado 2.8-liter diesel's 169 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Power hasn't been announced for the, the US Ranger's 2.3-liter EcoBoost Turbo 4, but expect that gasoline engine to make more horsepower but significantly less torque. We've contacted Ford about the truck's US prospects, but we're not getting our hopes up. We'll update this story with any more official info.